Hey everyone, it's Amy, and today I'm going to be showing you all the tips and tricks of how to use transfer nail foils. Okay, so first off, I just want to go over all the different types of foils because there are quite a bit out there. There's a lot out there, so I just want to go over the different types. All of these foil boxes are going to be from a Jelly Nails one. So the first type of foil there is is a full coverage nail foil. This box is her Galaxy Print tie-dye, and these are full print. You can see that it is a full print. There's no translucentness, no clear backing. It's gonna be a full print. This next box is the designer logo box number one. And this box is pretty cool because it has both full prints as well as translucent prints. So we have designer logos, we have Chanel, Dior, we have Louis Vuitton. So these ones down here you can see are gonna be the full coverage, but we also have ones like this one, which is gonna be your translucent pattern. And the translucent foils are gonna be best applied over a base color. So you're gonna to wanna to put your base color down and then put the translucent foils over it. This box is the four season box and so it has all four seasons, different uh, floral arrangements. We also have leaves in here, kind of takes you through all of the seasons. These ones are going to be translucent. As you can see, they have space in the background. This next box is gonna be the silver holiday theme. This one's pretty cool. They are all silver holographic foils. They are going to be a translucent foil. This one, as you can see, are snowflakes. And the snowflakes are that silver holographic so pretty. This box is going to be so stunning for holiday time. The next type of foils we have are metallic foils. This one is holographic metallic. And these are so cool. So these can be used as full coverage or they can be used as abstract nail art. So whatever you wanna do with these, there's lots of options. And the final type of foil is gonna be your iridescent foils. This one is the Pastel Aurora Mirror Effect Mermaid Color Box. And these are super cool. They have that like iridescent pattern to them in different tints. And so these work really well for doing Aurora nails. I'll insert a picture here. I have done Aurora nails before. I wish I would have had this type of foil, would have worked way better than what I had before. Okay, so now that you have your foils, you're probably wondering what the heck to do with them. So let me go over some tools and supplies you'll need to be able to apply the nail foils. First off, you're gonna need your foil adhesive gel. This one is UV and LED. This one needs to be cured in a lamp. So we are working with gel, so it does need to be cured. And then because we are working with gel, you are going to need a gel lamp. I currently have the Young Nails UV LED lamp. I'm not sure what the wattage is, but um, it's a pretty basic nail lamp. And next, you're going to want a couple of tools just to help you apply and smooth out the foils. So here I have the double-sided tweezers. This end is a super sharp 
pointed tweezer and then the other side is going to be like this cuticle pusher rubber tip so it's going to get really nice in there really smooth out that foil on the nail these ones are the c curve tweezers this is what i've been using to apply nail foils they're really cool. I love the angle of them. Good for picking up the foils as you're cutting them out, putting them down. And then I actually use this edge because it is angled. You can really get in there and use this to spread out the foil. And if you don't have any tweezers to use, you can definitely use just a regular cuticle pusher as well as any silicone tools that you may have lying around. I know some people use them for acrylic 3D building. So if you have some of those, those would work really nicely as well. But if you don't have any tools, don't worry, you can use your fingers work just as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in and do a couple tutorials for you guys, just so you can see all the different ways I was talking about of how to use the foils. So first, we're gonna go ahead and do one of the full coverage ones. So I'm gonna take one from the Galaxy tie-dye set. Let's see. The hardest part is just picking what you wanna use because there's just so many options and these are all so gorgeous but i love purple so i'm thinking i'm gonna do purple galaxy how fun does that sound so i went ahead and took the foil out so first you're going to want to cut a piece of foil out you want it to be bigger than what you're working with so we're gonna have to go this way and you're just gonna cut a good chunk off okay so this was the prep, just getting the foil ready. It's gotta be large enough to cover the entire foil. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my foil adhesive gel. And like with all other gels, you wanna do a thin coat. And just really work it in and make sure, especially for these full coverage ones, that you are fully covering the nail. Get the side walls, get the tip. Just really work it in, but keep it thin. So you're gonna go ahead and cure this. You do cure it before you put the foil on. The suggested time for the Jelly Nails One Foil Adhesive Gel is going to be to cure for 90 seconds and then let it cool for five seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the lamp. Okay, so I have cured the gel for 90 seconds and I did let it cool down for five seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my foil. You wanna pretty much center it on there and it will start to stick. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the double-sided tweezer and start applying. I usually recommend starting with the center and working the way out. You can see it's already starting to come up. And look how cool that looks. That's awesome. And I do want to know, and I'll show you on the next one, I'm going to do another full coverage one. A lot of people wonder which side to put the nails on. So this is what the full coverage looks like. You can see that the pattern is on this side. When you flip it over, it's gonna have this backing. You wanna put the backing face down. You want the pattern facing up because that is what's going to transfer. You want to place the pattern on top. So let's do a designer nail. 
I'm feeling some Chanel. And again, you want it just bigger than the nail. And so we have the foil cut out. Again, we're gonna go in with our foil adhesive gel. Here for 90 seconds, let it cool five seconds. I will go do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back with this one. Got the gel cured and cooled down. And I want to show you again which is the proper side. So this side you can see we have the brown background and the silver Chanel logo. On this back side you can see how it's matted and the back is silver. So you will have to play around. They all look a little bit different, but you can tell like this is matte. Generally, rule of thumb, matte side goes down. Again, just take your foil and I put it in the center. I'm gonna go ahead and just use my fingers this time just to show you there we go there is your chanel logo so as you can see by just those two there are a wide variety of different kinds of designs so here we have the galaxy and here we have some designer nails so no matter what type of theme you're going for, there is gonna be a type of foil that you can use for it. And so once you have your foil applied, you are gonna go ahead and top coat to seal it in. I recommend doing double top coats on nail art. Whether you're doing foils, stickers, nail stamping, any sort of nail art, I recommend doing two top coats just to ensure that everything is really sealed in. Okay, so I'm back with the top coated designs. Nice and shiny. And as I thought, this Galaxy one looks amazing mapped. Look how cool. I feel like you just see all the details in it. So that is how to do full coverage nails. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do the translucent foils. So I have some black swatch sticks that they're already got color. So I'm just gonna use these just to show you. I'm gonna go ahead and prep both of these at once. I'm gonna show you two different ways I like to use the translucent foils. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put these in the lamp to cure, and then I'll cut out and talk about foils while they're curing. So I'm going to go ahead and do one of the silver holiday ones. I guess we'll do the snowflake one since it just popped out at us. It's just fine because I'm super excited to see how this one is. Let's see again. You want to do it just bigger. So I'm going to show you how to do like a full pattern with this one. Second one I'm going to take from the Four Seasons box. Let's see. Let's maybe do some succulents. So with this one, I'm gonna show you how to do like a full transfer with that, with the air, with the background. And then these ones I'm actually gonna cut out. 
So I'm gonna cut out the little succulents. And these type of ones, you could just do like a full nail, just have a scattered effect. Or you can do what I'm gonna do and place them on the nail. Okay, swatch sticks are prepped. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the full one down. Displace it. I'm gonna go ahead and come in and use this guy again. So again, this is just on a black swatch stick, but you could put this on top of any color, on top of like a deep, like navy blue. So pretty. And now let me show you how to place the foils down. So this is where your tweezers are going to come in handy. So I'm gonna start with this guy. I'm just going to place it down. Since I have these in my hands, I'm already just going to use this. So this one's nice because it, it has that flat edge to it. So I'm just using that. Press down. Voila, there is that one. And let me show you again the back this backing is pretty easy to tell completely matte no color 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 side goes up and i want to place this so that way it's right on top of the little leaves there rub it in and you'll be able to see too when it's transferring Like, I can generally tell which spots I've missed. Oh, look, there's a spot I missed there. Let's see, that spot is actually not going to go in because that is where the other piece was put on, so it was already used. So I'm gonna show you a little trick that I like to do. I'm gonna go in, do another layer of top coat, not top coat, of the foil gel, cure it. Okay, so I have that second layer of foil gel on there. So you wanna just take your little piece, your little corner that you missed, and you're gonna carefully line it up. And there we go. Lined it up, got that corner on there. It does take a little time, a little skill to be able to line it up but it is doable. It's not the end of the world if you miss a spot. Another trick is if you do miss a spot and you don't feel like lining it up or you don't feel like you have the ability to line it up properly, just take it off. You can just take it off. Use some acetone, it wipes right off. Okay, so I have top coat cured on those. And those look super cool. And what's nice about these is you can really customize it because you can put whatever background to it. So like I said, for like the snowflakes, you could do like a navy blue and do like a snowy scene with it. So that is what the translucent foils look like. 
And finally, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for the metallic foils. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you two different ways to use the metallic foils in some different nail art. And with this one, you're not even going to need the foil gel. You are going to, however, need a gel polish that has a tacky layer. If you're using a non-tacky formula or if you remove the tacky layer, it is not going to work. So you will need the tacky layer for it. It's going to act as our transfer gel. I have two swatch sticks prepared, a lighter tan and a darker tan. I'm going to start off with the darker tan and the gold foil. I want to show you back matte top is shiny so you're just gonna take it and with the gel tack still on there you're just gonna set it down real quick <laughs> Okay, now that I have the gold foil dabbed on random patterns, I'm going to go in, I'm gonna be using the Jelly Nails um, Nail Art Gel. I did receive in from her um, the full collection of these striping gels. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like me to do a full video of all the colors, but I'm taking the black one. This is what it looks like, just a striping brush. It is gel. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this into a leopard print nail. So I'm gonna use these as the spots. So I have those outlined and then for leopard print I usually like to fill in in between with some smaller dots just to make it a continuous pattern. And now you have a metallic leopard print. And on my second swatch stick here, I'm gonna go ahead and create an abstract design. So I'm gonna go in with this number five, which is like a peachy shade, um, as well as with the black, and then I'll put the foil on. So I'll do my design and then I'll come back and explain the foil. Okay, so I've gone in with that peachy shade. Um, it's definitely more on the orange, but whatever. So I had the base gel as a tan, and then I put like splotches of the orange shade. So now I'm gonna go in with my teal foil, similar to how I did the leopard print, just dabbing it on there. So now that I have the foil kind of randomly dabbed on there, I'm going to go back in and add some black stripes. So I went ahead and cured the black. Now I'm going to go in with white. So here I have um, top coated, we got the leopard print all shiny, and I did do a matte on top of the abstract nail, and it gives that foil a really unique finish to it. So here are all my designs I've created using the foils. We have our full coverage, we have our translucent ones, and then we have our metallic abstract ones. 
So as you can see, there are lots of uses for nail foils. I didn't even show you half of them. There's so many uses and there's so many designs and patterns and colors and finishes. It's just endless possibilities using nail foils. And I do have a coupon code for you guys. I'll put it up on the screen. It is Amy 10%. So you can go save some money at Jelly Nails One, get you some foils. Uh, she also has lots of super unique and cool nail art. I will leave a link to her shop down below as well as her Instagram. Definitely go follow the accounts. That way you're up to date on all things new. She's constantly getting in new supplies, new nail art. And I showed you quite a few of her foil boxes here. I also happen to have uh, the Christmas foil box, which I was talking about. I have her colorful romance foil box which I've used to create these rose petal nails as well as these blue roses here. I will leave links to those videos down below if you want to see me do other designs with the nail foils. So she has tons of options for foils, like anything imaginable. I really love that she has the designer ones. Like who does not want designer logos on their nails? I'm super excited. I really wanna do some Louis Vuitton nails. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on my tutorial when I do some Louis Vuitton nails on myself. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed me doing these tutorials, kind of how to nail art techniques. So, Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.